Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today's big day. We're going to be taking an entire line of uh, pistols. We're going to take a look at the Glock line, specifically the Glock 9x19 line. There are so many Glocks to choose from. But we're just going to limit it down to the 9x19s. Here we go. All right. In the spawner, under Home Pistol Automatic, uh, we've got the Glock line, starting at the letter G. We've got the G17, the G17 Custom, the G19, and the G22. Now, I'm going to limit this video just to the 9x19mm Glock, so that means the G17, the 17 Custom, the G19, but not the 22 that is chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. I will tackle that in its own video. Also in the Glock line are some machine pistols, but since I haven't started the machine pistol reviews yet, I will not be tackling these until I get to the machine pistols. So, the G18, the G18C, which are in 9x19, will not be in this video, nor will the G22, because it's in 40 Smith & Wesson. The G17, the 17 Custom, the G19, all share the same magazines. They can all interoperate. So. Even though the G17 spawns with this G17 magazine, this G17 drum, and the G17 Custom has its own custom magazine, and a 33 round magazine, and this G19 has got the same ones as the G... They're all interacting. You can put them in the, the, each other's things. They go, they go one, and then they go back. And they go... Well, I'll show you. Let me show you. Here are the Glocks. Here is the G17, third generation. This is the G17 Custom Race Gun and the G19 third generation in FDE. So, all the magazines that spawn with these Glocks do, 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 work with all the Glocks that are in 9x19. Cool! Let's take a look at the magazines. Starting with the G17 Standard Magazine. Looks like that. No witness holes, they're all blacked out. And it has 17 rounds. The 17 Custom has 20 rounds and a cute little foot on it. The G19 33 rounder, no surprises, has 33 rounds in it. The G19 19 rounder, surprise, has 15 rounds in it. Um, it says 19 R&D, G19, G... It's, it's got 15 rounds in it. Um, I checked twice. I, I took a full mag and I, and I tried to put bullets in it and... It's a 15 round mag. I, I don't know. Moving on to the... G17 drum. The G17 drum holds a whopping 50 rounds in it. And yes, you could put that in a pistol. It's crazy pants. So here we go. Let's get started with the G17 Gen 3 controls. Now, these are slightly different than some of the automatic pistols that I've done videos on before because they are striker fired, which means they don't have a hammer that's exposed. The hammer's inside there. You can't see it. You can't see it, but it's in there. Yeah, they call it a striker, striker hammer, whatever. It's a piece of wacky stuff that whacks against the bullet that makes it go bang. The controls are all the same for these three Glocks. We're gonna take a look at the G17, the G17 Custom, and the G19 Third Gen. We're gonna take a look here at the G17 Classic, uh, just to show you, but but what I've shown you, oh, what's a fucking God damn it. The controls are the same for all three Glocks. If you press to the uh, left and up, you can lock the slide open. If you press to the left and down on the trackpad, you can release the slide. Now, this is a striker-fired weapon, so the hammer, the little thing that whacks against the bullet that makes it go bang, is inside and not exposed. So it doesn't have a hammer cock and decock uh, the way a lot of other uh, automatic pistols do. But if you listen closely, you can hear the striker being fired when I pull the trigger. And if I pull it again, nothing. 
right? Just the click of the trigger because the striker's already been fired. But I cannot press to the right and down or up on the trackpad to cock and decock the striker. Uh, it also does not feature an external safety. There's no safety when you press up on the trackpad on any of these Glocks. So, pull back, lock, release, striker is, come on you bastard. You can do it. Come on, Timmy. Fuck. They're mating. And yes, all three Glocks support a magazine release. So, insert the magazine with a slurp, press down on the trackpad, blorp. So, slurp and blorp. Let's look at attachments for the Glocks. Will it take stocks on Glocks? Glocks with stocks? Yes. Glocks with stocks. Glocks with red dots? No. Glocks already have red dots. Ooh, yes. Glocks with red dots? No. How about a laser? Yes. The three Glocks also have under barrel frame laser support with the rails. Will it take suppressors? Not only will it take suppressors, the G19 has its own G19 suppressor. Lovely, it matches. And it works with the other Glocks as well. Let's compare sights. The Glock 17 has very nice, easy to read, white, unilluminated irons with the little U-shape in the back and the white dot on the front. The 17 Custom has a red dot and you can also co-witness the irons at the same time. Look at that. Ooh, nifty. How about the 19? The 19 has bright, bright green irons with a rather large cutout in the back which makes finding that front sight even easier. Nice. Let's do the recoil test. I'm going to use the 17 round uh, G17 magazine because I don't want to be here all day using the drum. Let's see what we get. All right, the Glock 17. Yep, starts to pull up and right. Let's see what we got. A 7.65. Moving on to the G17 Custom. Ooh, high and right. Yeah, consistently up and right with the 7, I think. It was a good first shot with the 718. Now the Glock 19. Yep, it looks like it was high and right, the same as the 17 Custom, with a 7.18 score. Let's see what we get with the Compensator. Glock 17 with the Compensator. Ooh. 8.72. Noticeable improvement with the Compensator. Yeah, much less vertical. Let's do the Glock 17 Custom Race Gun with the Compensator. Hmm, had some strays there. I think that owes a lot to me just trying to be pulling as fast as I can. Still, it limited the vertical. So, it seems like an improvement. Let's do a recoil test with the G19 with the compensator. Ooh, nice. Kept everything in the black. 8.78. Nice grouping. Everything's looking good. Well, since the G19 comes with its own suppressor, I thought it fitting that we should test it. Here we go. G19 with the suppressor. Ooh, 8.88. Well, that's fitting. 
This is a very good suppressor. Usually suppressors don't have that good of an impact. Glock. Stock. Glock stock. Stock Glock. Stock Glock. Glock stock. Let's see what we get. Ooh. 8.53. Excellent. Excellent result with the stock and the Glock. Different Glock, a different stock. A different Glock and a different stock. Stocks and Glocks. Let's see what they do. Everything in the black, 8.5, doing great. Ta-da! There you have it, the Glock 9x19 line. Until next time, I will see ya.